In this video, we're gonna familiarize with the main manipulations and basic commands in Chimera. First of all, we need to open the PDB file with a 3D protein structure. To do this, we have two options. The first one is open. This way you can open the file that you already downloaded and browse it to find it on your hard drive. And the second option that we're gonna use now, it's fetch by ID. Here we have a lot of options and camera allows you to fetch proteins directly from RISE databases. This time we will use the protein data bank, PDB. We use the four letter code. In this case, it's 6XMK. Uh, this code resembles the SARS-CoV-2 main protease. Click Fetch. So this is the 3D structure of main protease of SARS-CoV-2, represented in ribbons. So basic manipulations are left mouse button allows you to rotate the model in 3D space. Right mouse button changes the zoom in. And with the middle mouse button, you can move the protein. Here in model panel, you can check which models are open. So each time when you have many proteins open at the same time, you can always activate, deactivate, show and hide them using model panel. If you click show, the protein will be hidden. Then you can show it again. How to change the appearance of your protein? One can do this using the Actions panel. Here we can work on the level of atoms, ribbons and surfaces. To select different parts of the protein, we can use the Control button plus left mouse button. Then hold them and drag over the protein. When you see this green uh, highlighting, you understand that the whole protein is selected. To unselect it, use Ctrl and left mouse button on empty space. To select specific parts of the protein or to select ligands, we can use the Select panel. If we want to select only one of the chains, here we have two, we can use Select Chain A or select chain B. If one wants to select only ligands, then he can use residues in the selection panel. And in this case, we're gonna select the ligand QIS. It's an inhibitor of SARS-CoV-2 main protease. If after manipulations you suddenly lose your protein or it went out of sight, you can always turn it back and reset the view to default mode. Use Actions Focus. To change the color, we can use the Actions menu and Color submenu. For example, let's color different chains in different colors. Let the chain A be yellow and the chain B blue. Now we are going to paint the inhibitor in red color. Remember, in molecular modeling software, we usually use the same colors for standard atoms. So hydrogen should always be white, oxygen red, nitrogen blue, and sulfur yellow. So to do this, go to action, color, by heterizer. Now you can check that all the necessary atoms change their color. 
In this case, red color is not the best choice since it interferes with the color of oxygen that is commonly used. So unselect everything and go to action focus. This way we can set the view to default mode. Now we're gonna visualize the surface of the protein. We can go to action, surface, show. There are three modes of surfaces. This one that you see on the screen is called solid surface. There are also mesh and dots. The surfaces can be of different transparency. By default it's zero, but it can be changed up to 100. To remove surface, go to surface height. Now we will change the representation of ligands to spheres. Go to actions, atom bones, sphere. And now we will represent the chain A as surface with 50% of transparency. And the chain B will be left as ribbon. If you like the view, you can always save it using save image in the file menu. Here you can select the file type or format, then edit the screen resolution, and also select the rendering options. By default, Chimera uses its own built-in render, render tool, but you can use POV array for uh, pictures of high quality. But even Chimera internal renderer gives pictures of good quality. Then you just click save. And here you can see the result. Finished saving image. You can always check the comments or some results from build tools using the reply log in favorites menu. Here in reply log, Chimera writes all the outputs from different comments and tools. Like here, it wrote out the output from surface command. The focus command can also be used to focus on specific parts of your protein. For example, we can select one ligand, so click on it, and using the arrow buttons, we can change the selection. If you use up, it means expanding selection. Down, shrinking the selection. So this way we can select one of the ligands and click focus, then unselect everything. Now you can clearly see the ligand in the A chain. So this is all for beginning and see you in the next video.